My name is Simon Scott. I'm the founder and director of On Foot Holidays. Dorset is an area we know and love, and it's right here on our doorstep, and we wanted to share it with walkers from all over the world. The landscape is deeply rooted in history. It's quintessential England, with rolling hills, curious cattle, villages with thatched houses, lovely pubs, and views to die for. My name's Harriet, and I am the local contact for the Dorset Walk. Dorset is a great walk for first-time walkers. It has this very, very, quite profound beauty. And it's not dramatic or loud, but it's very, very memorable. So by the time you get through the whole seven days and get to the coast at Lyme Regis, you will have experienced some really quite magical countryside. Well, there's a lot to see in Salisbury. It's a medieval city and that's reflected almost everywhere you look. Of course, it has the world-famous cathedral. You can actually go right up the spire and do a tower tour. We highly recommend that. It's got Stonehenge. And the main highlight of Salisbury is you can come see us. So come into our office, we'll give you a cup of tea and talk about the route and any questions you might have. The walk goes through a lot of places that Hardy himself would have actually gone through. So it's not a stretch of the imagination to think that we are literally in Hardy's footsteps. We stay at a little place called Evershot. So there's a wonderful inn there called the Acorn, although Hardy called it the Sauron Acorn. Um, and he used to drink there himself. The pub's still the same. It's got wonderful food. My name is Robert Ndungu. I'm the head chef at the Acorn Inn and it's such a fantastic opportunity to work with local farmers because you've got the coasts just nearby, you've got the inland, and I'm spoiled for choice really. Anyone who walks into the Acorn Inn, whatever they're going to have, to go back and think, that's the best meal I've ever had. That's my passion. The countryside has changed so little over the years that it makes a great location for adaptations of Hardy novels including Mapperton House, where Far From the Madding Crowd was filmed in 2015. You can visit the house and its gardens and have a real English cream tea. As you pass by on the walk, you can visit the ruins of Wardour Castle, so nearly destroyed during the Civil War. When you reach the village of Cern Abbas, you'll see the Cern giant, this chalk figure cut into the soil. The Jurassic Coast, there's 185 million years worth of geological history here, and you might even find a fossil or two. It's the cradle of English geology, and many of the early geologists, including Lyle and indeed Charles Darwin, came here to study. On the way, you'll walk over Golden Cap, the highest point on the south coast of England. The view from the top spans from Portland Bill in the east to Lyme Regis in the west, your final destination. When you arrive in Lyme Regis, you can walk down to the famous Cobb, which projects out into the sea to protect the harbour and the town itself. My name's Will Reed. I'm the principal here at the Boat Building Academy. We build anything from small canoes up through to small sailing yachts. At the end of the course, we process all the boats down to the harbour and they all launch one after another. And the mayor tends to come down and, and lots of friends and family. It's quite a big occasion. It's a really good area for sailing generally. Cliffs and incredible walking all around this area as well. You'll see a great profusion of birds, wildflowers, and ancient oak trees. And at the end of each walking day is a little town or village to savour and a great place to stay. This is your chance to experience rural England at its most authentic. Unspoilt quintessential English countryside, which you probably won't find better anywhere else. <laughs>